splurge about who you are and what we know who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, a, not, you're, you're the most charming man in Britain. You're the second oh, Nigel you. we've interviewed in the last. I know. Years. I was slightly embarrassed to be called Nigel after <laughs> listening to that. <laughs> Do you feel that Nigel, the the, word, the name Nigel, has been brought into disrepute by Nigel Farage? Has I, it ruined I, things for you? I, it's totally been brought into disrepute <laughs> by Nigel Farage, as far as I'm concerned. Or he's a brave campaigner for democracy. And that's another point. <laughs> Uh, I, I voted to remain, yeah. but we voted as a country to leave, and I'm right behind that, because I'm a Democrat. I'm, I'm the same. So I, what do you think of the Liberal Democrats who call themselves Liberal Democrats, but their position in this election is, we want to stop Brexit happening before we've even tried to implement the it, result of the Therefore, they're the non-Democrat Democrat Party. The illiberal liberal. The illiberal liberal. It is a party. weird thing, isn't it, to be called the Liberal Democrats and to stop democracy happening? Well, I, I just can't understand it, you know. I voted to remain, but I accept the I'm vote. I'm the same with you. I completely accept the vote. Yeah. We should leave because that's what the people wanted. There should be no argument. No, well, there we go. And there you are on the same page as Nigel Farage. Yes, but Nigel Farage just wants... The ego has landed. I want to be in this. Well, no, I was going to kill Lembic OPEC. <laughs> And I decided well, that... Funnily enough, another It was a prison sentence... That would be great TV. Fantastic. Imagine, can you imagine? Maybe you'd have been out in 12 years. <laughs> I don't know, I was worrying about the 12. It might be <laughs> a bit longer. Why did he wind you up so much? Just bearing everything in mind he, he did. doesn't have a right uh, He was a good guy. Well, he does. Sean Ryder. Sean Ryder's great. He said to me, I've taken every drug known to man, mm. except petrol. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never heard anyone taking petrol. Anyway... <laughs> But yeah, Lembit yeah. drove you to murderous thoughts. He did. But and he you did. thought, i got to get out of here, but via yeah, literally... He, you know when someone really gets on your nerves? Mm. Oh, and there was that. no way out of it, because you can't read or write or mm. watch the telly or listen to the radio. It was just Lembit Opec going on and on. How many days did you put up with it? Um, it's all in a blur for me. Mm. Yeah. But I managed to get out. I just thought, that's it. I'm going to kill him, he's going to be prison, or I leave. Then you threw in the towel. Because I'm told by yeah. those... I, I was with uh, Rebecca Vardy of... Uh, Wagatha Christie fame mm, recently uh, at the weekend, that. and she was in the jungle. But she said the hardest thing is is the boredom. Yeah, that boredom, and also the lack of food. If you don't get the the stars for doing the challenge, then you get hungry. Everyone gets really hungry. Hungry. Well, I, I, even when we did win the stars, I didn't eat it because it was something inedible as far mm. as I was concerned. And I won't mention the parts that you were allowed to eat, but mm. uh, no. It yeah, was it's all like kangaroo tails. It was about it? the worst thing. I have nightmares. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Yes, I do. See, I've said, I said I'll do it for £5 million, and I won't <laughs> budge on that, because <laughs> that is the only figure that I would put myself through this. And also, my parents have said... They'll, they've yeah. had to put up with a lot over the years. Yeah. They said, if you did that... <laughs> you met my parents, and they're very have, decent... They're very, very people. lovely people. But they said, if you ever do that, <laughs> we're done. That's it. That's Five the million. disowning moment. You might get into trouble. They might just come, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they tried, <laughs> but I said £5 million. For, now, that, for that, I'll do the kangaroo worth, testing. Maybe that's worth it. You are not <laughs> just here to talk about I'm yes. a Celebrity. You're here to talk about your new television show. Yes. Which has a slightly I'm a Celebrity name. It's called uh, The Cockfields. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Which is a name... It doesn't sound anything like I'm Well, it's a name you don't forget in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the point of it. Cockfields. And it's a wonderful show. Fabulous cast. Mm. Uh, Sue Johnson, Bobby Ball, yourself, Sarah yeah. Parrish. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's about a family living in the Isle of Wight. And um, I'm just trying to remember what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I know that it's a fantastically funny show. I mean, I was a, the scripts are really funny. I mean, it was. Do you remember great. anything that's happened in this show or not? Not, not really. <laughs> no, of course I do. I was there every day. It's funny you should say that because when you were on Coronation Street, of course, your character met a sad demise. Yes. But you have said that perhaps <laughs> that character might come back. Indeed. Did you forget what had happened to the character? No, no, no <laughs> cos he has obviously a twin brother. Mm. Of course. <laughs> living in Australia. He's come back from the dead in, in, yeah. so, in so... Yes, it's a normal <laughs> thing. Yeah. Sue, Sue texted me the other day saying, uh, are, are you polishing up your Brazilian accent? <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, there's a clue. There's a, there, there's a clue. Yes. <laughs> well, Nigel, it's great to talk to you about the show you can't yeah. remember. No, no, yeah. I can. Uh, it was actually... <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. And I hope you're going to show a clip. <laughs> Have we got a clip? Oh, no, we have got a clip. Have you got a clip? But the Cockfields... Oh, we forgot it. <laughs> the Cockfields is on at 10pm <laughs> on Gold. But it's hilarious. It is hilarious. It was on UK Gold. UK Gold, absolutely hilarious. Yes, I love the way that's my, that's my <laughs> shot. Yes. What are you playing there? That's the panther this year, is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. At the and what are, you, what are you playing? I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm well, rehearsing. it looks like you're playing rehearsing buttons. Now. Will you even remember when you've done it or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go in the mist of time. But I'm, I'm working up my part every day as we rehearse. I, I'm writing and, and, and sort of 
Excellent. Yeah. Well, Nigel, always good to see you. It's always good to Please see you. Please come back anytime. Yeah.